welcome to my very first vlog. No idea what I'm doing, not a clue, and I'm gonna wing it as I go through it. We have had a camper now for about three, four years, and we've done a lot of work on her since we've had her. We've upgraded many, many bits, and we've even had a big hole cut in the roof. That was scary to see happening, but I will give you a tour of our van at some stage once I get around to doing it. We are going away and got loads planned. We've got a couple of holidays coming up, a couple of events coming up, but this is just an introduction mainly for the vlog I've just completed. Remember, it's my very first vlog, so it is a bit ropey in places and it is a bit rusty. And I'm still trying to learn how to use this um, iMovie thing because I plan on doing most of my vlogs on my phone because it's easy, it's in my pocket and it's ready to go. And I've got an unbelievably basic um, stand, uh, selfie stick stand, Bluetooth, ridiculous of it. I don't think I paid any more than £10 for it, but it's what I'm going to be using. So it's all good fun and let's see where this leads and it's a bit of a giggle. So hope you can join me. The reason I fancy doing this, um, vlogging little bits and pieces, is I've been watching vlogs for ages. So I thought, let's have a go at it. Um, because they look really good fun. And it's also good memories for me, myself and my family. But um, I have been watching A Bus and Beyond right from the early stages. And those guys are brilliant. And I'm loving their new conversion on their new crafter. Um, it's Thunderbird. I can't remember which one. Thunderbird 1, I think they've called it. I can't remember which one it is. But it's the big green one. And also Weber and Van. Love them. Chilled, relaxed. Go to some fantastic places. But also... There's two others, flying flyaway geese. Really like them. They're really good fun. They're really nice people. Um, they're the sort of people I wouldn't mind having a pint with, to be honest. But if I'm going to go out on a messy night out, it'll be me and man himself, Colin. Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures. Now that is a vlog. Love what he does. Love how he does it. Really nice bloke. I've asked him a couple of questions in the past about certain few things and bobs, and he's got back to me. As have all of them. I've messaged a boss and beyond before, and they've got back to me. They're fantastic. They're all lovely, lovely people. Um, Bentley, you're a legend, mate. And um, I look forward to seeing who likes mine and who doesn't. We all get them, don't we? It's life. But let's see how we go. I hope you come along with some of my adventures and I hope you enjoy my first vlog. It is, I'm blacking it. So let's see how it goes. I've just done all this and it didn't record. Here's the river. Mm. All you missed was it scared me the food on my foot. Genie having a paddle. Oh yeah, nothing like a bag of poo for a walk. But we're in Porsham Dairy Farm campsite down near Weymouth, in between Weymouth and Dorset, I believe. This is it. Just, we'll go do a full campsite tour shortly. Might be a bit of a little wonder, but one of the main reasons we came down here was Claire booked it because she booked it because of the vending machine. And explain about the vending machine. You can get lots of things in a vending machine, including eggs. What do we get? What do we forget? And what do we find in there? Oh, spray oil. That <laughs> was got a bonus. Everything. They got milkshakes, coffees. The sweet one's empty, but the site is stunning. Absolutely immaculate. Really well maintained. So later on today, we are going to do a tour around the campsite. But we're off on a wander, and we're going to take the dog people walk. Very nice, but that's the sort of section of this end of the campsite. That there is our baby. There's Wilma, she's all set up. I'll give you a proper look around her at some point. We like her. Reception, where are you coming at the start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You tell me when you're recording and when you're not. 
recording. <laughs> this one down here, we call many names under the sun. But as you can see, he doesn't like being filmed. He's called Scout. He's a madman. We've got my baby over there, and my wifey. Jeannie, she doesn't really like the camera, but I will try and get stuff from her in a bit. noise we've had. I was just about to say how lovely and quiet this campsite is and at that point it just got noisy. And as you can hear, I can even just hear it just running on the top here. <laughs> it's got so noisy all of a sudden. As is the uh, tour of the campsite, as promised, that's the end of where we are. Quite nice in there, quite pleasant. We're sort of tucked away so we can actually still get away. It's pitch two, so I can't recommend pitch two from the pop top. Get them in there, because it's quite well sheltered. There's the pop tops down there, they've got them up, but they are moving a bit. And I wander down, it's a beautiful site, as I said earlier. So I'm walking from my site. We walk down, go down here. Plenty of by the caravans around. I'm not going to put too much on here because it's their private business. Gent ladies, gents, washroom in there. Gents, I'm not going in because obvious reasons. We've got the washing facility there, so we can pull the washing facility in. Normally when you come in, there's these bollards and there. They recognise um, registration numbers when you walk in the door. You walk in, you drive it, little car park next to it. And just say, well, these just drop when you walk in and come through. I'm going to take you down to the vendors now. So this is what Claire booked it for. These vendors in here, she just thought were brilliant. She loved them. So you've got all sorts. Milk, coffees, all that sort of stuff. That one there's milkshakes, I believe. There's your coffees and chocolates and that sort of stuff. That one there, is oh they refilled that one and got chocolate and fruit flapjacks and even water bottles if you forgot chocolate one's empty or they've gone healthy on us and then you got an ice cream one and there's another vending on the end here very similar to the other ones but they are probably some of the best vending machines i've seen i'm sure other people have seen them i'm gonna stand in the drive for a bit the weather has changed massively out there 
from earlier on when we were here. The walk, a little bit of a drizzle, a um, little bit wet. So much so I've actually taken down the canopy at the uh, on Wilma on the camper. Um, she's it was just flapping around so much. I tried to drop it and make it angry, but gathering water just wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. It says it's wet. It's a bit wet, but it's still magic. Love it. So I'm going to stand from here because it'll be easier to do. It's wet. Just there. That's your reception. In there. Just walking down. So if you walk further on down this bit here, which I'm going to wander through in a minute. I will show you a few other bits. However, I'm going to walk down there now and um, see what it's like. Just wandering down further into the campsite now. A lot of caravans. So I think it's a lot of stuff caravans that people can leave here for a while. Well, another, another beauty, another V dub. Pops up, up, he's gone for it. Yeah, he's pretty well sheltered. There's another one just there. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you can hear me. As you can see, the wind It's very strong. I'm just wandering down. There's people around. I struggle to talk when there's people around. I feel like they're just looking at why is this bloke talking to his camera on his phone? I'm just going to shout a bit and let you have a look. Now that I'm wandering around, I've actually noticed it's actually very, very sheltered. It really is. There's a lot of high trees and it's sort of sat, sat in like a, it's like an embankment all the way around the outside of it. So that's why I think most people get away with having a I've got a glass of the prescription, so, <laughs> so it's just easy. But, um, but yeah, it's, I think that's how people are getting away with it because of the way they've got it set here but it's nice, it's nice, it's nowhere near as windy as it is up there. Look at those trees shifting, they're all really going for it up there. Down here, it's breezy, but it's not really magic. So just come back to the van, there's Wilma, all wet and windy, windswept. What I didn't mention was all the Plots here are hard standing, which is really good in this sort of weather. However, not however, positive. All electrics and they've all got their own taps. So they're all fully serviced and they've all got everything that they need. I promise you, that is a bit overkill, 25 meter um, electric cable. Just wandering down to Churchill Beach. It's the only one in the area you can actually let your dogs off. The dogs are allowed to go off. Um, what I will mention is, if you're coming from Portsham, the hill on the way back up, it's you need your car needs its um, pickaxes and crampons on. It's a steep, steep old hill. But yeah, so we're going down. There's G. She's loving it. She can't wait to get down there. So. I'll see you down in a minute. Don't know. Better scout back there somewhere. Don't know what they're doing. What they're doing so. Claire's just told me it's either a really wide shingle beach and it goes on forever. I've never heard of Chesil Worth Beach. So, not a clue. Let's find out. Not sure if that's true or not, but that's what I've heard.
my review of Portersham Dairy Farm campsite. Lovely, absolutely stunning, very well maintained, very well loved. Everything was clean, spotless, tidy. Um, the owner did a walk around at night and check that everybody was okay and was there any issues or anything like that. Made sure the vending machines were full as well, which was always good to know. Um, some of the good technology when I walked in. Um, I love the security system that they've got. Um, recognize number plates, in you go, off it trundles. Really enjoyed it, really nice. Um, trip on the way down, pretty simple, pretty easy. A lot of hills in Dorset, so you are going to be going up and down. But the campsite itself, wow, it's just amazing. Most of them were um, hard standing, they had electrics and water. But I was advised that no, they don't all have that. I did say that somewhere in my vlog, um, that they've all water, got water supply and electric supply. They don't. There's a couple that don't in the middle, but the majority of them do. And before you, the night before you go, you will get a, a email saying this is your pitch and this is where it is. And you get a little map to your pitch on your site. So you turn up, the security system lets you in, the barriers drop, you drive in, you go straight to your vlog. You don't have to check in, you don't have to go to reception, nothing like that at all. It's all automated. I think that came in during the COVID period just after. So very impressed with that. Um, there was loads. There was a, we went to a local pub up the road called the King's Arms. It, it, food was amazing. Food, outstanding. Absolutely top money food. If you like your food, brilliant. It was manic. They might have been a little bit overrun, stuff like that. I don't like putting negative things down. I wouldn't say it's negative. I'm just thinking they might have been overrun or short staffed or something. And it was a bit of weight and there was a bit of complaining in the pub, but the food was epic. Can't knock the food at all. We might have just hit it at an interesting time. So I definitely recommend it. It's a less than a five minute walk up the road. There's also a farm shop, even closer than the King's Arms, and it is, does everything. It's, you name it, it's got it. It's really good. It's got, most importantly, it's got beer. It's got cider. It's got red wine. It's got food. It's got dog food, because we forgot to take dog food. Um, it's got loads. And then on, on the site of it, Portersham campsite itself, the vending machines have a lot of stuff that you probably won't require. We forgot to take mugs. So we drawn it up and got some mugs because we worked out it would be cheaper than the amount of coffee that we drink. That's good. There's a couple of ideas I'm looking at putting in the van in the future down the line. However, Portersham, Portersham Dairy Farm, Farm campsite, highly recommend. Really impressed. And if we did go back to a campsite, we would be going back to that one. We would go that way and use that campsite. There are a couple of others in the area that we do know and we would use as well. And at some stage, I hope we're doing one of them. There's one in Anstey as well that we're looking at going to back to. Campsite's amazing, pubs even better. But we are looking at doing that one. However, this vlog, it was great. Really, really enjoyed it. Very nice campsite. Some lovely walks around the campsite. Lovely little river to wander along down into a field, massive field. We turned round because it was just starting to chuck up the rain. So we thought we'd get back because we've got the dogs. Um, Scout doesn't mind it, but Jeannie's getting a little bit old, bless her. So she's not a fan of it. She loves being out in the weather, but she doesn't like getting too wet these days. Now she's 11 and a half. So amazing, highly recommend. If you're looking for one down in Weymouth, quiet-ish. Um, Stanley was quiet, but I can't say it was completely quiet because you've probably seen in one of my vlogs earlier. It does get a little bit noisy, but not constantly, and it's very well marshaled. So if there is a lot of noise, they will settle it down, but we never had that problem at all. All in all, great weekend away.